all game over. Damn! Okay, so I decided to do another review, a more in-depth one, because uh, if you watched the last one, or if you haven't seen the last one, basically what happened was I tried to do an in-depth one, but my friend decided to barge in and interrupt. He's the iPod owner. And we had a discussion, so if you want to hear the discussion, you can watch my last video. But if you want to get basically an idea of, a, a much better idea of what the features are, you can watch this. Now, what I didn't tell you before, actually what I just learned is, in the instruction manual, it originally says that this button right here will shut it off if you hold it down. And actually what that does is it puts it in a sleep mode. So like you can press anything and it'll just turn back on. But what I learned is if you hold these two down, right here, the bottom button and the right button, it'll shut it off completely so these buttons won't turn it back on. You have to actually press the power button to bring it back up to the main menu and it boots up like software, like an operating system or something. And that'll probably help you save battery life as I'm sure in sleep mode it wastes a little bit more battery than shutting it completely off would. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a little bit more features. But I got a case, a nice little flip case for Christmas. It's pretty nice leather. I didn't really want the plastic one because what I noticed with the plastic ones is when you have them over, like especially with my friends, like for his iPod, gunk will get up inside like the plastic part and then there'll be like floaty white things all on the inside and I don't know, it just kind of looks dirty so you probably have to open up and clean it. I mean he doesn't care but that would bug me. There's your music, videos, pictures, radio, community, settings. And we're going to check out the settings first before we get started on anything else. Um, the wireless is off, and when you have the wireless on, you can actually find people if they have a Zune. Like, my friend has a Zune, and he actually sent me a whole album. So there's your wireless signal. And right now I'm online. My name should show up. There's my name. That's what people see when you're online. And you have your nearby device. And he sent me the pick of destiny. There's his name, Jay Fizzle. And, um music settings you have your shuffle your repeat now I, w I don't turn shuffle on because you can just turn shuffle on while you're listening so if you have shuffle on in here that means it's always on so sometimes you forget and if you're listening to an album it'll start shuffling and it'll be kind of annoying and your repeats off equalizer it's a little points yourself the pictures settings you can have the shuffle on or off for pictures I'd probably turn that off just because it's kind of annoying if you don't want it on you're in a sequence of pictures I have it set to 15 seconds for in between each thing if you're playing a slideshow the display settings the themes that's unimportant because that's the stuff they gave you in the beginning I have my custom background so I don't need any of that anymore backlight set to 15 seconds brightness is medium TV out so plug uh, a cable in there which I have downstairs you can plug it into your TV and you turn that on and you can see the zoom on your TV and watch videos and stuff Mm. Uh, sounds are off right now. I usually have them on, but I had them off because I was creating a radio station with my transmitter. The radio settings, I don't know. You really don't need to change that. You're in North America, I'm assuming. Uh, I have my online set as detailed so everybody can see me when I'm online, what I'm listening to, what I'm doing. Because I'm not, I don't care. I mean, I'd rather have people like say, oh, look at what you're listening to. Um, let's see how full my zoom is. That's the hardware information, storage. We don't care about the legal. I have 3,827 songs, 1,893 pictures, and 195 videos, movies, TV, whatever. I only have 1.37 gigabytes, but that's because a lot of those videos uploaded themselves before I turned the auto sync off. And here's all my music. We have. It's sort of. See, there's the shuffle. That's what you want if you don't want to turn shuffle on, because you can just do it right there. Here's all my bands. All the good stuff right here. Let's say you want to hear some Pink Floyd. Oops. Now I already... Oops. Went too far. But then if you don't want to go back to the main menu, you can use this. And... Do it yourself, basically, if you don't want to go back to the main menu. You know, you want to play something off of... Wish You Were Here. And then you pick your track, whatever it may be. 
and then in place, and then you got yourself a little laser tr uh, seek bar right here. Tells you to track the artist, whatever, blah blah blah. And there's thing, and the big album artwork taking up the whole screen, which I kind of like. It's cool because I like the album artwork up here. So when you're going by either artist, playlist, albums, genres, songs, there's your playlist. There's the quick list, and you have some, like there's stuff on here right now already. But I'll probably clear that. But you can clear it right there in the menu. Here's my videos. That's all videos, and it's hard. It's re it's actually really hard to set it to music videos, movies, TV shows if you don't know what you're doing. Because there's the software for Zune is like really bad. I I'll admit it. It sucks. But I mean, I don't really use that software other than uploading stuff. You got to download something called Z Meta if you want to edit the metadata of this stuff so it will set up to be either a movie, a TV show, or whatever. And here's all my movies I have. That's a really weird movie. I think you all should see it if you like cool stuff. And you gotta make sure you set the format correctly so it doesn't get all stretched out. Now this actually was originally an AVI, AVI, whatever you call it. And Zoom, the Zoom software will convert it. But if it's 16 by 9 aspect ratio, it'll make it 4 by 3 and be all stretched out and gay. So you'll probably have to convert it in a separate program anyway. But Zoom software can convert AVIs. You just have to trick it into thinking. There's a whole description of that on forms somewhere. I can't remember the exact ones. But basically, once you get it all converted and nice, it looks fairly good. And it doesn't actually take that long to convert. And here's all my folders, right? You got your... Little here, I actually uploaded some pictures of the iPod screen so you can get an idea of how much bigger the screen actually is. I don't know if this is 100% exact, but you get the idea. Here's an iPod picture of the screen right here. Playing Danny California. And you got this much extra space. I'm not so sure about um, the length here, but I'm sure it's close enough. Here's my My Documents, old pictures and videos. I like how it organizes it in folders rather than the iPods way because I don't think the iPod organizes it in easy folders to find your stuff. You got your shuffle. You can actually go to the menu while you're looking at stuff. And this is where you apply it as your background if you want it. I really don't want that as my background. You can also send to people. But when you got your radio here, now I'm going to have to connect some headphones. These, these are the headphones I use. They're in ear headphones. They actually get rid of a lot of the noise when you're listening to music, so things can't hear anybody. The CD player. But basically, I have an auto seek right now, but it finds a station and then it f reads the digital text, the RBDS or whatever it's called, display, and then it'll tell you what's playing if the station supports it whenever a song's playing. So it'll tell you the station call letters and then the, the, the name of the song or whatever. And when you connect here, we're going to connect to the computer now so you can get an idea of how the software works. Pretty hard. Um, there's Zmeta. This program is you're going to want if you're going to want to edit videos. So that they put them in the right area and stuff. And it open here. There it is. And you can open directory of your files then edit them here and then sing them back to your Zoom because I don't think you can do it while they're still in the software. But anyway, let's get this open. There's OK Computer. And you can see the L artwork and everything's correct. So we're going to put this on our, our Zoom here. And then sync it. Got a calculation up there. And we're syncing the album to the Zoom. Doesn't take a long time. Took a long time when I synced my whole 20 gigs of music, but you know I don't use the marketplace I still use iTunes even though I use my Zune I still think iTunes is an amazing program for organizing your music I really don't like the software for that just to sync it well, let me show you there's a even though they say you can't use it as a portable hard drive it is possible to now to show up see right there as your storage oh and if you didn't already know you can side click on the device and check your battery life. It's kind of nifty if you want to know the actual percentage that you're, how much is left there or whatever. And there's your little storage space. Open that up. It finds everything like all that crap. Oh, this is the Zoom IE plugin I just got. I synced that to there without it supposed to be. And there you go. There you have it. Here's the Zoom. 
a nice piece of equipment so don't let Apple users or fanboys bias you into that it sucks. Sure if you have an iPod don't get a Zune because it's really not that much of a difference but if you want to if you see features in it that you don't already have then sure get one but if you don't have an MP3 player consider this because it's really nice.